Good afternoon traders. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use indicators and Weeble to take trades from. I'm even going to give you a basic plan if you're a newer trader that you can start trading immediately and you can start tracking to see if it works for you, if it's profitable or not. I'm going to show you how to do that with real money but with extremely low risk so that you don't lose a lot of money just in case it doesn't work out. So. This is Weeble. This is the desktop platform. If you click over here on settings, you can see which version you have. This is 5.1.0. It just came out today. Today's June 29th. You can always click on the little button over here. It'll show you which version you have. Once you have Weeble open, go to this left-hand tab, click on the little stocks icon. You should see something similar to this unless you've made some changes. If you want to get it back to this default layout, you can always go up here. I know it's off screen, but if you hover over the little white box, it says minimized. Left click. Then left click on reset layout. It should bring you back to something that looks like this. I have AMC up here today. You can put whatever ticker symbol you want by clicking in that little box and typing in the ticker symbol name. I chose AMC today because it's trading with a lot of volume and there's a lot of price movement. So it'll be a good one to look at indicators with. Now, here is the most important thing in this video is are indicators profitable? Are there a set of indicators that you can use to guarantee profitability? Definitely not. I don't care what anyone else out there tells you. The only way you're going to know if you can make money trading using indicators is if you come up with a plan, you trade that plan exactly, you track those trades after 100 trades. If you're profitable, then you could say, you know what, this plan might be profitable in the long term. You have to continue to track. But you can't just jump in full position size tomorrow with some random indicator strategy that somebody says has an 80% win rate and expect to make money. It just doesn't work that way. So what do I mean by coming up with a plan? Well, here's my plan that I'm trading right now. It doesn't have a lot to do with indicators, but it's just to show you an example that I I have a, a very detailed written plan that I use every single day. You can see my live trade recap videos that I release every day where I trade that plan and occasionally I modify it. But you don't have to have a, a giant plan like that right at the beginning. You just need to start with a plan. It could just be a couple of sentences or a paragraph, some rules that you follow. That's it. And I'll show, I'll give you an example. Now, once you have that plan, you need to track those trades. Without tracking the trades, you're not going to know if the plan works. You've got to track more than just whether the trade was green or red or not. It doesn't mean, so if you have a green trade, it doesn't mean it was a good trade. If you have a red trade, it doesn't mean it was a bad trade. How is that possible? Well, let's say you have a plan and you take a trade that meets your plan criteria and you're set up exactly, you execute it perfectly, but the trade stops you out. Does that mean it was a bad trade? No, it was a good trade. It was just a good trade that failed. So that's what I mean by that. So here you can see I've tr been trading my plan and there's plenty of red on this chart. And most of those are not bad trades. There's a couple that were trades in error. Those are the ones that are outlined in red and blue. So there are some mistake trades on here, but most of the red trades are good trades according to my plan. And you can see right now my win rate. So this plan, in order to be profitable, I need a win rate of 33% or more. And that's based off of my risk management. I'm not gonna get into all that in this video because this is mostly about indicators and coming up with a plan and tracking your trades using indicators. You have to figure out whether or not it's profitable or not. In this case, profitability means a win rate of 33% or more. And you could see that my average of all the days I've traded so far is 46.8. So that's showing profitability. But the total number of trades I've taken is 23. Out of those 23, I've won eight. So that's just showing slightly profitable. If I remove those trades that were taken in error, it's showing more profitability. So that's a reflection of the plan. This is a reflection of the plan and human error, my mistakes while I'm trading the plan. And then the average of those numbers could give you an idea of how this may work out in the long run once I get better at executing it. And then this is with a modification of the plan. So I decided a few days ago to stop taking uh, as many trades as I was and just take three trades no matter what. And if I've done that from the outset, even with the error trades, this is the win rate. It's way above 33%, so definitely profitable. So anyway, that's just an example of how you need to track your trades. Um, again, you can use a spreadsheet like this if you're good with Excel. You can download this from my Facebook trading group. It's totally free, no agenda there. This, the trading group is, is the same name, Trading Armor. And uh, if you're not good with Excel, you can just track it on paper, but don't just track whether you made money or not. That is not an indication of a good trade. So now let's get to Weeble and I'll talk about this simple indicator strategy that you can try out. And we'll just 
use the VWAP indicator. So if you're only going to use one indicator, if you're a newer trader, you shouldn't be using a whole bunch of indicators anyway. The VWAP is the best single indicator that there is out there. Not to, not, I'm not saying it's the best because it's guaranteed profitable. You don't know that until you track it, but it's a good indicator because it tracks the, both the volume and the average price over time. And it doesn't change based on the time frame. You can see that the shape of it, if I get back to that same place in the chart, it has the same basic shape. It runs up and then sells off. And not all of the indicators do that. I'll show you in one more. So there's a 30 minute chart, same thing. It pops up and then sells off. So it's a good indicator to use. It's a really popular indicator. And uh, that's a good thing because other people are using it and you wanna be trading with other traders. So here is a simple plan that you can come up with. Write this out. You're gonna write this out. And then you can modify it as you see fit. So we could put on the one minute chart. We've got our VWAP up here. I didn't change any settings. If you wanna change the color, you can do that pick any color you want. But for the purposes of this video, we'll just keep the default setting, the default color. It works just fine. And let's say our plan is to take a long entry. That means to buy. So we want to buy a share for the hope that the price goes up. So once the uh, candlestick opens above the VWAP, we're going to take a trade and we're going to hope that the price goes up and then sell when the price comes back down and closes on the VWAP. So you have to know a little bit about candlesticks for this to work. So these red and green things are the candlesticks. On a green candlestick, the bottom of the candlestick, the bottom of the body of the candlestick is the price opening. So this candlestick opened down here, which is obviously below the VWAP line, and it closed above it. Now this candlestick opened above the VWAP line, and the wicks just show you the entire range. Don't worry about that. The wicks we can use for the stop loss. So if you want to put a stop in your trade, I can't do all of that in this video, but um, if you know how to put in a stop loss, a good place to put it is on the uh, low of the previous candle. So let's say the strategy is to enter when the price opens above the VWAP. So right here around this 5960 range, and then you can put your stop loss below the low of this candle. And then let's say you get out of the trade when the candle closes at the VWAP. Then you get out right here at 6020. You would have made some money on that trade. It looks like it's near a one to one risk to reward ratio. So not too bad. But the whole point is just a simple idea that you can start trading right away. Start tracking. You can get used to your trading plan. You can get used to following your trading plan, following rules get used to your platform, all that kind of stuff. The The idea in the beginning is not to make money and grow your account, double your account in a month or, or even six months or a year. You, you really need to develop a trading strategy and learn your platform and get good at executions and build discipline and all that kind of stuff. So that's what this is all about, just a uh, plan that you can come up with using a simple indicator like the VWAP to help you get started with trading. If you want to use other indicators, it's very simple to add them to the chart. Just go up here and click edit. And this shows you every single indicator that Webull offers. There's a whole bunch of them. And if you click on any indicator, click on introduction, it explains what they do, what they are, how to maybe how to use them. And uh, for example, the moving average is a really popular one. Uh, if you want to use that, I, I wouldn't recommend that in the beginning. It, I would say stick with one indicator and see how it works. And then maybe you can add things. Uh, but the moving average is a popular one. And I'll just leave you with a little bit of information about that. Here I have this one set to uh, the 10 moving average. So this is the one minute chart. So it's going to give you at any one point that you pass over this chart and look at the price. You look at the price up here. It's going to show you the average price of the last 10 candles or the last 10 minutes in this case because we're on the one minute time frame. If I was on the five minute time frame, it'd be the last 50 minutes. If I was on the daily time frame, the last 50 or uh, sorry, the last 10 days. So that's the moving averages. I didn't really want to get too much into other indicators to show you how to put up indicators on the chart in general and to give you a basic starting point for a day trading plan using indicators. Again, using the VWAP going long, meaning you buy one share when the price opens above the VWAP and then exiting when the price closes at the VWAP. So you can play around with that and see what kind of results you get. Make modifications as you see fit. There's a lot more to trading than just that. We didn't even talk about picking stocks 
or the criteria to pick stocks or look for trades or checking long-term time frames on the chart. All of that stuff is really essential for day trading. But at the beginning, it's kind of information overload. If you want to just get started right away and not take a lot of risk, just trade one share. Uh, try a simple strategy like this VWAP strategy out. Just make sure that you have a written plan, that you follow your plan and you track your trades. If you can't follow your plan, you can't follow your rules, then you're never going to make it as a day trader. So that's kind of the first step is, is doing something simple and just getting used to following your plan and not breaking your rules. So anyway, hopefully this video was helpful to you. The main idea was how to get the indicators on your chart, but I didn't want to just throw that out there. I wanted to give you a little bit more than that because um, it's just trading is very complicated and complex, and it's not enough just to say use these indicators and you're going to be a successful trader. So I know I spent more time on talking about the plan and the strategy than the indicators themselves, but I found that, that, that that's more important and useful to new traders. So hopefully it was still helpful to you. Hit the like button if it was. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions about indicators, day trading plans, strategies, uh, how not to risk too much money when you're a newer trader, that's really the main thing. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. As always, go into every single trade with a plan. Follow your plan no matter what. Take your stop losses, honor your profit targets, and in the long run, you should be green. Take care.